Hey guys, welcome back to the quest for the best competitive audio. Today we're going to look at the HD 560s, the AKG K712 Pros, and the Bear Dynamic Tiger 300Rs. And guys, I have been mining the HD 560s since I began this series, and I can say that they've held up extremely well, and the build quality is phenomenal. So guys, despite the fact that I have my primary headset in my main game Apex Legends, the HD 560s by Sennheiser, I can say that I do want to continue that quest to find the best competitive audio because certainly if there is another headset that provides a little bit higher of an advantage in a particular game, I'm very interested to determine what that headset is and uh, whether or not it is at a viable price point for my own personal budget. I have come across the AKG K712 Pros and I did come across the Tiger 300Rs. And putting the Sennheisers aside for now, if you guys do want to see some clips and some information about them, please check my prior videos. But between the AKG K712 Pros and the Tiger 300Rs, I can say that both of these headsets are also going to be included into the wall hack tier headset list. I can say that both are absolutely phenomenal for first person shooters. Both provide a very, very pinpoint precise directional audio imaging and sound stage that are both very, very good. So the question becomes, what are the differences between the K712, the Sennheiser HD 560s, and the Tiger 300Rs, and which one might provide you with the certain characteristics or certain qualities that you might want to have out of the three headsets? And the K712 by Herman is made in Slovakia. It is an open bag headset, rated impedance of 62 ohms, max input power of 200 megawatts. As far as the AKG K712 Pros, I can say that the build quality is far less superior than the Bear Dynamic Tiger 300Rs and the HD 560s. The headband itself is one piece of leather. It actually is quite comfortable and is kind of on like a pulley system. And as this goes up, my headset actually continues to kind of loosen and then the ear cups actually kind of pull on my ears. So as far as comfort goes, I would say that they are the least comfortable and also get very hot compared to the other two headsets. As far as the most important feature of the headset, the directional audio, the imaging and sound stage of this headset is absolutely phenomenal in Apex as well as Valorant. In CSGO, I did not have quite as good of a time. The winner out of all three of the headsets were the Tiger 300Rs in CSGO. The AKGs are actually the hardest to drive and the lowest as far as decibel volume out of my DAC amp. And I feel the lack of bass response or lower bass response than the other two headsets is actually not beneficial in games like CSGO and Valorant. And I don't want you to put too much emphasis into that statement because although the headset did not do as well as the other headsets in CSGO because of that lack of bass response and very flat nature of the headset, I can say that the headset excels in games like Apex Legends and other broad expansive maps where you actually want to be able to hear those directional audio cues at a distance. The headset is very, very good at that and was very, very pinpoint precise. In CSGO and Valorant, I could say that a, the frontal directional audio was a little bit fuzzy at a few degree conal uh, area in front of you, but the directional audio cues at a distance uh, above you as far as elevation and below you were absolutely phenomenal and quite possibly a little bit better in Apex Legends than the 560s, only because of the fact that they had as little bass response as possible compared to the other two headsets. The 560s though, I do feel are a perfect middle ground. You have that a little bit of extra bass, the volume gets a little bit higher because they are not as hard to drive. And I can say that the pinpoint precision on the 560s is there, right? So if you are somebody who is very, very sensitive to bass and you want as little bass as possible with those fantastic directional audio capabilities, the K712s by Harman are a absolute banger of a headset. But another fantastic open back headset by Bear Dynamic are the Tiger 300Rs. Absolutely beautiful build quality and very comfortable. And guys, I do think the stock ear cups are more comfortable on the Tiger 300Rs than the HD 560s. And the nice thing about Tiger 300Rs, they are compatible with Dakoni uh, Fenestrated Sheepskin ear cups that do feel and sound quite good and maintain the sound imaging and sound qualities of this headset. And to get into the qualities of this headset, it is very, very good. The imaging is probably a little bit better on these for Valorant and close quarters maps. I do think that the 560s still beat out the Tiger 300Rs in broad expansive maps like Apex Legends. 
And the nice thing about the 560s, given their analytical nature, it is a little bit easier to pinpoint what items people are walking over. So if somebody's walking on metal, wood, et cetera, in water, I think the 560s get a little more analytical and true to the source. But the nice thing about the Tiger 300Rs, again, in Valorant, the base is a little bit rolled higher than the 560s. So you do hear those footsteps a little bit better and the imaging is absolutely phenomenal and pinpoint precise for Valorant, CSGO, and Apex Legends. And while the bass is rolled higher and the directional audio cues for footsteps are a little bit better in Valorant as a result, the bass is not overpowering. So I don't want you to think that the directional audio cues are gonna be drowned out by bass. That is not the case. And as the 560s, in my opinion, are the middle ground as far as bass is concerned, the Tiger 300Rs are at the top of the spectrum in that the bass response is actually rolled higher than the 560s and the AKG K712 Pros. I think the 560s for me are still my favorite headset in Apex Legends and are going to be my main headset for as long as until I get that uh, headset that can beat it out. But the Tiger 300Rs are so, so, so close to the 560s that it makes it a very, very tough decision between the two for Apex Legends. And guys, looking at Apex clips with the Tiger 300Rs, I can't stress enough the importance of directional audio and being able to hear audio cues through walls. Here, I know that he had a Peacekeeper Prime, so I'm able to jiggle peek and play safe while finishing him off. And I know I have two guys pushing me, so I need to reload, heal, do what I need to do to be able to successfully win this fight. It's all about crosshair placement through the wall. It is so integral that you have good directional audio to be able to know where they are through the wall or when you're leaving a building like here. Enemies aren't always together on enemy teams, so to be able to hear people from a distance and quickly flick to that individual to try to push them off you and then follow their audio cues to ape on them as they refer to it in Apex, it is something that is very important. I cannot stress enough how important micromanaging your heals and your health is in Apex Legends. Because when you have two individuals pushing you, you need to be able to have your crosshair placement on them, hear audio cues, the footsteps, the zip lines, how many people are falling on you, how many more people are coming to be able to successfully manage, micromanage your health, manage your crosshair placement, and finish off the enemy team. So guys, you can probably see why it is so hard to choose a main headset out of the three of these headsets. They really all offer different capabilities and different things in each of their tonal qualities and their soundstage and their imaging. I think the 560s do the best job with sound audio cues, directional audio for enemies at a distance in broad expansive maps like Apex Legends. I think the Tiger 300Rs do better at smaller maps like Call of Duty and Valorant and CSGO. And I think the Tiger 300Rs are also do very, very good at those broad expansive maps, just not quite as good as the HD 560s. The K712 Pros, again, are a little bit harder to drive. The audio did not get quite as loud for me on my Mayflower Arc MK2 but the directional audio is absolutely phenomenal. The bass is very, very drowned out. The mids and highs really are elevated without ever being too tinny or too hollow for me. The audio was fun, music sounded great, and the headset is really, really fun to use. I can say that for many, many people, the K712s would absolutely be a top contender and a top choice for your audio headset decision. Again, if you are sensitive to bass or you want as much bass drowned out as possible, the K712s are a god tier headset. Now between the Tiger 300Rs and the HD 560s, my choice for me personally and my personal headset kind of boils down to the two. And for me, it's just so hard to choose between the two that I'm gonna keep both. Again, if you are looking for a headset that is a little more fun and it has a little more bass and the audio is a little less tinny and hollow with certain highs, the Tiger 300Rs are absolutely fantastic with superb directional audio, superb imaging, superb soundstage, and the HD 560s. Again, if you are looking for a little bit more audio clarity, a little bit more, a little bit less bass and you are looking for a little bit more directional audio in broad expansive maps like apex legends or a battlefield 
the HD 560s definitely take the cake. So you have a lot of choices. You have a lot of decisions uh, between the three headsets. All of these are a, a absolute wall hack tier headset, and I don't think you would go wrong with any of these headsets. Again, the K712s are a little bit harder to drive, so you do have to take that into consideration with the price point of all three of these headsets and the fact that you would need an amp and a DAC on your desk or a sound card that can drive them. But again, all three of these are superb headsets. If that helped, guys, please leave a subscription to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next review. Peace.